and the game is beginning. I mean, we all know Mr. Winter is not an early Expo player. I haven't really seen Flow Duke aside from literally just for his disengage. You know, he can play one base. So we'll, we'll have to see how this starts. So, we're going to have a old school opening, looks like, from Flo Duke. He's going for the DK, or at least Happy Fiends, I, I might as well just call it. And Mr. Winner, we'll have to see, but again, we all know he likes going right to Tier 3. Interesting spot for a Tome of Relics. Um, it'd be funny if he somehow got stuck back here. I think he could get stuck. I'd be careful that he, you know, rally points out the right way. That'd be a horrible way to start. Wanted Mr. Winter versus Sarai. Wait. Who did Sarai play? Oh. Oh, okay. You just wanted to see that. I don't even know if Sarai's finished yet. I'm looking. He's still playing Godrian. Damn. What the hell's happening there? Dude, Human King Tom is ranked 6. Like, I like Human King Tom, but when the hell has he ever been ranked 6? Damn. Alright. Who is going to take out the Mr. Winner? Mr. Winner has... You gotta, you gotta love Mr. Winner, because he has signed up for every NA World Cup, to the point where... Spoiler alert. The Russian has made the Back to Warcraft North American LOL Cup Season 2 Finals as one of the people. And it's kind of crazy. I mean, you know, he's going to get a few dollars just for showing up. But last time, he kind of upset Insult. Granted, I'm pretty sure Insult was drunk. But, uh, yeah, he did. So, you know, he can play. His style's a little weird. They'll know Insult also loves playing versus humans, so... Sometimes he can just uh, surprise people. And there you go. So begins the tech. Right about the same time. Not much Players difference at all. Are under attack. Flodu just creeping away. He wanted to see whether or not there was an expo going up. I mean, just in case. If he knows anything about Mr. Winner, he already knows there ain't going to be an expo anytime soon. All right, level two DK, level two Archmage. The Archmage is definitely a bit ahead there, you know, just XP wise, but it's fine. It's just the creeps they took. He took this one and then this one, two greens, while Mr. Winter took an orange and then a green, and he's looking for the expo. He didn't really, you know, check himself. All right, so I guess Flo Duke's Idea is just be annoying. It's like be aggressive, chant, but he be annoying. He did go over here just to see what was up with the fiend. I don't know if that was a miss rally or he just wanted to scout, and see what was you know happening. We got our blacksmith going down. We'll probably have rifle people coming out pretty soon. And uh, yeah, standard. I mean. How often do you see a human player creeping the small green before level 3 even on the undead side and he hasn't actually, you know, like, crept out with militia? I mean, if he did, I don't know if that's 100. It's not. But he would be a lot closer to just level 3, which is a crazy level up for the human player. But he's just trying to be annoying. He wants to take out an accolade or two if he can. He's going to probably have to TP. I mean, he's dived in now, so it's, he's kind of fully committed. He just wants to take out what he can. So far, Flo Duke is doing a good job of just stopping everything, aiming the arc. Well, usually that's where you TP if you're Mr. Winner. 
But he did it. So... <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing for Flowduke. If he remembers he needs to make an Acolyte over. He is probably... Oh, I was thinking he's a lot closer because he's killed out at level 2. But he's still got a little while to go. But he's going to get level 3 easy if he takes this. He's got to get his wood back in order though. He does have 230. He can start moving if he wants to. He's getting his Lich now. He was a little bit under pressure. Didn't know what to do. Getting closer and closer to level 3. That is a huge level up because the Archmage, well, he's only level 2. So I guess the good thing is being level 2 as an Archmage, it takes a little bit less time to revive. But, you know... Alright, so here comes the tier 3. It is definitely a Mr. Winner special. Just go tier 3. It definitely got stronger over time as well. Um, I've played Mr. Winner doing this. It's just weird. It's hard to deal with. Although, I've never killed his Archmage like that so early. So maybe it'll be a little bit easier for Flodug. But he's going to go for like Griffins, Flying Machine, and Knights. Definitely losing your Archmage at level 2 is not in the playbook. So we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see on that one. The Lich is out. Rack Cold Skull. Not a fan of that name. If he had Joe Namath, Joe Namath he, would, he would definitely be up in there. Floduke is like 1650 MMR or something. Mr. Mike. I'm pretty sure he's saying the same thing. Oh crap, I killed his Archmage. I just wanted to make him back up. Or is it more like, woohoo, I killed my Archmage. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Didn't Pishner beat Mr. Winner in the Friday Cup? Is Pishner and Flodukes? Well, I don't want to say Flodukes yet. Let's not say that, because he certainly has not won this game. But is Pishner just like on the up and up, or is Mr. Winner washed up? Alright, well he better be careful because his DK really just does not have that much life. The MK is out, but he's coming in for the creep jack, which is great. You just don't want to let the MK get any levels if you can. Friggin' magical. Now Mr. Winner, he has to make a choice. Does he make more footies, or does he start pumping out knights and all these expensive things when he, he's trying to get a paladin out? He doesn't have any gold. He can make one griffin or one knight at the moment. And he probably wants a staff. He probably wants an orb. There's the orb. Or excuse me, the staff. No orb yet. Same though for Floduke because he's just not tier 3 yet with that hit earlier. He is getting Burrow, which really won't do much with this flying machine okay, chiller. But he just takes out another footy. It's just a little bit more gold. He has to be careful that, uh, miss, you know, like this is greedy. I would like it, but it's greedy, and this is where you have to be careful. Because Mr. Winner saw him. He knows. He has no mana. And this is where you don't like it. Because here come the ball boys. He's pulling all boys. And now you're getting bolted in the face by two different people. The Archmage, really, he can't do much, but the MK is going to do a lot. The Paladin, he's coming in. You're going to have to heal. You're going to have the nuke. You're having a bunch of peasants, which, frankly, he doesn't care too much about. He can remake those. You can kill two fiends for two peasants. Are you kidding me? Amazing. All right, he pulls out one fiend, but this other one, he's dead. You're hearing peasants die, which is good, but no orb for Flodu. This is really just an anti-timing for Flodu. I like the idea, right? He's like, I'm ahead. I want to get more ahead. I want to, like, I want to constrain Mr. Winner. And that's something I would have done. But I suck versus human. And you see what happened to Flodu. He overextends a little bit. Mr. Winner has the game, like, awareness to know. If you see a guy here nuking you and then he kind of disappears, you might even be able to see him. I'm not sure, but he could tell the creep was happening. Maybe he even heard it. I'm not even sure. Maybe the flying machine's been pretty good with being annoying with scouting with that. But suddenly, that lead Mr. Uh, or excuse me, Flo Duke had has now disappeared. The hero levels are still trash, right? But he did get Jorn. Jorn's out. He's halfway to level two. The MK really close to level 2. The DR is now out, but it's a level 3 1 1 heroes a player's to the 3 1 1, but now we got a knight, we got a griffin. I don't know. Okay, web. Oh, I can look up here. Holy shit, I'm smart. Web is on the way. 
But now he's got to deal with knights and griffins. When do you ever have to deal with that? I don't know. Oh, no. Okay, this is exactly where Mr. Winner wants him. You know, you just weaken him a little bit over time, and then the tier 3 units come in, and you just start staffing your stuff. And this is... You know, this is not going good. The... the oh, no, the witch! He goes for the nuke on the knight, but the knight just has way... I, I don't even know if that was a miss. Just screw up. And now he morphs the destroyer. The destroyer is dead. To one flying machine, essentially. And now this is just... This fell apart. Oof. I think we can confidently say Mr. Winner Players forces are under attack. He's in a comfortable position. Okay, so game plan was amazing. Here's what he did. He got himself ensnared so the flying machine can't hit him. The brains. Okay, but he still died. Although I'm pretty sure he hit it just to get other people, you know. Snared, but we're going with that. We're going with it. I mean, there's not much to cast here. He dead. He really dead. All the fiends are gone. The DK. Holy. Lighted. By Jorn. Goddamn Jorn. Good luck, have fun, next games. I really like the early game from Flo Duke. Dude, this is going to happen every time. My Warcraft's going to crash after every game. Ah, oh, this is going to suck. This is the new Observer mode or something. 